you made a so long unremembered dream of mine a reality. Everyone told me that I cannot turn my Hummer. I cannot turn it electric. But then you came and you've proven it. And it's not just Hummers available in all electric editions. Also with a battery on board, this Porsche 910, a Colt sports car from the 60s. And this slick looking mover, the fastest e-production boat on the seas, thanks to Austrian company Kaiser. Co-CEO Markus Kreisel drives a Mercedes G-Class, boasting 360 kilowatts of electric power and a range of over 300 kilometers, and converted by his company. It's been a little over five years since the Kreisel set out to revolutionize the e-sector, developing batteries in this picturesque part of northeastern Austria. This is Mühlviertel. This is the Mühlviertel region, just lovely. This is where we're grounded, where we source our electricity. We have a lot of hydropower, which we also use to charge our vehicles, plus a lot of solar energy. The region is ideal for e-mobility. We have a clear head, and the whole team are very down-to-earth people. They want to do something for the next generation. The nature here is just gorgeous, and we want it to stay that way. That's where we get our motivation to bring about change. In 2014, the three brothers joined forces to set up their company. They made all decisions together and on equal footing, which is still the case today. It's a win-win. We go over things at home and then continue at work. The nice thing is that we're all a bit different with our own abilities. Marcus is a good businessman. Philip is a great constructor. And I have a lot of experience in electrical engineering. We come from an electronics business and kind of grew up with electricity. The brothers learn their trade in their parents' electronics store. That's where they also first started experimenting with mobility. The first thing was converting a VW Beetle at home. They always had to find some dingy little corner to work in because there was so little space. So they moved into a workshop across the street with a large garage, and they formed a team with a few friends, and that's where everything developed. They toiled and tinkered away to make their old vehicles better and faster with electric power. It soon became clear they'd have to get innovative on the battery front too. Instead of welding the cells of the batteries together, the Kreisel brothers connected them using laser technology and developed a system to control the temperature of the cells. Their battery was lighter, more compact, and more powerful than anything else around. Our motivation was being among the first, being pioneers in the field. Then we wanted to get better and better. We got really ambitious. Basically, we had this really good idea. We approached the subject with a completely open mind. We did tests and constructed our first batteries. It was a learning process, step by step. The next step in their evolution was a groundbreaking battery for the Porsche 910 resurrecting the cult car that had laid the foundations for Porsche's glittering career in motorsports. The result was a limited edition electric model that tops out at 330 kilometers per hour. It's incredible. A vehicle that only weighs 1250 kilos. You sit practically on the road because the car is extremely low. It has awesome acceleration. I've only done 170 in it, and even then it's a bit scary. Arnold Schwarzenegger doesn't scare easily, and was known for his environmental commitment as governor of California. He and his fellow Austrians developed the idea of electrifying the G-Class. 
He was immediately interested in the project, and we were constantly exchanging ideas, and that's how our joint project was born. We mounted the entire drivetrain into the car, positioned the batteries in the vehicle accordingly, plus the software. You need the appropriate expertise, of course. If you remove an internal combustion engine from a car like this G-Class, you'll get a thousand error messages. You have to simulate everything, which is very complicated. But we're specialists in this field. We know what we're doing. A 490 horsepower electric SUV, right up Arnie's alley. Over a period of one year, he subjected it to some seriously terminating testing and had such a ball that he paid another visit to the Kaisel team to get his beloved Hummer electrified too. Thank you for your dedication and for your vision of seeing a green future. So thank you very much for having me here today. I will do everything that I can to make sure that the world knows about Chrysler and about our great, great technology here in Austria. High-profile visitors and media publicity have broadened the horizons of Freistadt. Suddenly, this otherwise unassuming small town close to the Czech border is on the map. It's amazing for people to set up something like that in such a small place and come to global attention. We've had people coming over from Asia to get the lowdown, Schwarzenegger as well. I'm sure it won't harm us on the PR front. And I used to be one of the brothers' teachers. It's interesting how an average student went on to find a field that he really excelled in. Fantastic. The Kaisel brothers are riding on the crest of a new wave. On the water, in the air, and on the ground. And the big car makers have followed suit. Meanwhile, Kaisel has been improving the infrastructure of e-mobility. They've built stations that can charge a car from 0 to 80% in 20 minutes. The brothers want to make e-mobility available for everyday use by everyone. Our aim is simply to reach another level of electrification, to make the world a little bit better. The vision is very clear. By 2050 at the latest, everything will be electric. The world needs that. The great thing is that it can be implemented on a sustainable and regional basis. Electromobility happens where it's introduced, and that's where the added value is created. Three small-town Austrians who started building EVs in their garage and are now helping to electrify the world. <laughs>